Hi, I'm MP. And I'm Ben. And together we have been rebuilding this boat for three years now. You've most likely seen us in our Sunday episodes where we show the rebuild of this boat. This is going to be slightly different. After three years working on this boat build, we have an idea of what tools we like and what tools we wouldn't recommend. So we thought, why not? make a suggestion list for your Christmas shopping. This idea of what tools we like the most developed into like what things do we have on our boat at home that you could easily give yourself or someone else as a Christmas present and gathered them right here under this table. It's going to be our ultimate Christmas shopping list. Oh! <laughs> so without further ado, let's get into it. We've broken many tools, we've made lots of tools last, we've tested their durability. So we have a pretty good idea of what we think everyone should have in their toolbox, for example. So let's get started with, as we are a boat building channel, let's start with the first impact driver and drill that we bought for the boat, at least the cordless ones. I would really recommend these for anyone. Having a drill and an impact driver set is just a must in any toolbox or garage. These two in particular are very heavy duty ones and I don't know if you really need them that heavy. This is the DCD996 and this small one here is the DCF887. Don't worry about writing down those specs like DD033 I don't even remember. <laughs> We're gonna leave it all in a link below so you can have a look calmer without having to memorize those letters. If you are looking for something really heavy duty that will do absolutely anything, these are good. However, they do get quite big and chunky. So we ended up buying some different ones, which came in a very nice case. Let's compare them in size. The big one and the small little one. These have been so good for us. They are so light, they fit in little corners. The battery does run out quite quickly, but it recharges hot. really quickly as well. You like these as well, don't you? Yeah, when we were building the hull and the whole structure, those, that first set was very, very handy. It was funny at first when the carpenters first saw it, they really didn't believe a cordless tool could be so powerful, but they ended up really enjoying using them. So this was great. But when we're using furniture, working with furniture, those were a bit too much. It's more delicate work, so this was very, very handy when we're working with smaller work. So if your job or the person you want to gift is more hobby, smaller things, this will be the kit that I'll suggest. The drill set was something we used so, so, so much. This one, the multi-tool, is not something we used that much, but whenever we needed it, it was so handy, like no other tool do it better and I'm talking about it because this is my favorite tool of all because I think it's super safe to use it and it's, it is just fun. I never feel scared when using this tool. This multi-tool has done some jobs that no other tools would have been able to do it. So we would really recommend that as well. I think if I had to choose one thing that we use the most during the boat build would be wedges, but second it would be this. Yeah, these quick grip clamps are so easy to use. They come in different strengths. I think this is the second weakest. They come in different lengths. You can see short, long. They fasten onto anything. If you just want to glue something together, if you're just holding something in place to drill it, if you want to just have fun and fasten my arm, you can see how easy it is to just out, to just pull the lever and it closes to release, it just comes out. These Owen quick grips are the ones we have. There are many other brands that do them, are so handy. This, I would call the lighter ones. They do small jobs. Then you've got the heavier ones, these ones, which do bigger jobs. And these come in some crazy sizes. <laughs> There we go. The cool thing is that this is not just for squeezing things together, you can also hold things apart if you need to. Yeah, you simply just push this in, bring it to the other side. And now, by pulling the lever, you're actually opening up something. I really think this is a must in a workshop. And they're so small, all so big, whatever you want. A brand we've recently discovered and I think I'm going to acquire a lot of tools of is Tough Built. It's something I discovered in the US when I was over there last time and for now I've only got two little cutter knives. This one I always carry on me, it's already dirty and it's brand new. It's literally a prying tool that I use to pry anything, mainly just opening paint cans without damaging them. You open it, it's got a little cutter knife 
and a little wire stripper. Not only is it just a cutter knife, I've had loads of cutters, but this one just feels really good. It's got a huge clip and it fits in your pocket really nicely. This one over here, slightly bigger, it is also a cutter knife. It's got a little blade. However, you just push the button or the lever a bit more and it becomes a scraper. And when you need a sharp scraper that won't scratch a surface, there's no thing I have used better than this. Small presence, not expensive either, fits in stockings and so on. And I think this is just absolutely cool. Way more tough built products are gonna be on their way into my stocking, I hope. Hey, enough about tools. Let's go for other stuff. Is there other stuff in the world? Yes. <laughs> this is the Yugo bag. It's not just a super stylish bag, but it's also extremely, and I mean extremely, waterproof. When you close the zip, it's a dry suit zip. Yeah, and the bag is completely like the air I'll is not coming you. out. I'll come up to the camera for you guys. The air doesn't come out, so it even floats if it falls in the water. And not just that, you have here access to your phone and this little transparent bit, the touch response is amazing. So you can have your phone here if you're on a boat trip or anything water related and you can just be on your phone without risking dropping it in the water or making it wet, so it's amazing. Honestly, they have different sizes, colors, go onto their website, there's some lovely ladies as well and just have a look into it. I mean, this here. I'm not even gonna take it off anymore. Last year at the Annapolis Boat Show, we got these super cool hats by Anson Noreen. Now, I've been really wanting to wear them at the shipyard, but I didn't want to get them dirty. I think it's really tough to find a hat that kind of does everything. So the reason why I really like these, and I think they are a really good Christmas gift, is they are really lightweight. They don't fly off your head, even without the strap. They fit so snug around your head and you can even tighten them at the back. So even if you don't always want this strapped up against your chin, I'm pretty sure when you're on that windy dinghy ride or on your bike and it's sunny, it will not fall off. Also, I really love the material. The edge is a bit stiffer, so it kind of stays firm. The top as well is just of such nice fast dry material. So definitely go and check these guys out. If it's not for yourself, really good present for someone else. Fits nice in a box, it's also really light. The Arctic Marine hats are definitely your best friends if you're going fishing or speed boating or anything because they won't leave your head. But if you're looking for something more casual, I have the perfect thing for you. We managed, after so much research, we managed to release the hats with the quality we always dreamed of. This one here, I think it has to be my favorite because it's the Happy Sailor collection you know I've been drawing smileys all over the boat throughout the whole rebuild so I thought this was definitely representing Yaba and the rebuild so this happy sailor hat is embroidered but it's also made of corduroy so it's very very nice touch I really 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 like this one we have two quite simple caps what are they called dad caps dad hats dad hats I always wear that one and you always wear this one. Sure. These are just sailing air bag caps, really simple dad hats, strong material, and we are so happy we managed to get our hands on some really nice, durable caps. And they are adjustable, so don't worry about head size. If, they yeah. can all fit everybody. And this is the one that I wanted, because I always get dirty and wet and whatever. This one over here is really, really cool. It's got one of our favorite drawings on, which is the new, one of our new Sailing Yabba logos. Very light, like swim short material, I would call yeah, it. If it gets wet, it gets dry really fast. And also adjustable from the back. So really happy. We'll have these on our store until stocks last. So go and check them out. And uh, same really good Christmas gift present idea for a wish list. If you know a happy sailor, you have your present. Over here, you can see I'm wearing the same logo as on the caps. It's one of our new logos. We've really wanted to go for a more of a nautical, piratey vibe. On the back, we've got a really cool octopus with the famous quote, what shall we do with this drunken sailor? We've also got this one in great as well. Same logo on the front, same logo on the back amazing quality cotton. So we're really happy we can provide this to you guys. If you have been paying in attention, you might have seen our sun t-shirt that's matching our sun wall. We've got them in both black or we have them in white. And we have male cuts and female cuts. So either you are a happy sailor 
a drunken sailor, or just a sunny person, there's something for you. Not every book is such a good Christmas present, but this selection, I am sure it is. This one, it doesn't get old, The Little Prince, such a nice story, such a short book to read. Every time I read it throughout the years, I get a different lesson out of it, because I really think it depends on where you are in your life, it touches you differently. I really, really, really love this book and I think it is an amazing present. And for those of you who don't know MP, she collects the Little Prince books and she's got one in how many languages now? Well, this one is in French. I have it in English, Spanish, Portuguese, I don't know, Dutch. So MP <laughs> is the person for the Little Prince and if she's just to get it, you don't have it yet, it's a really good addition to your well, collection. Well, maybe my opinion is not so impartial because I really <laughs> love it, but I really love it for a reason. Another very good with like nice messages and nice lessons is this one, The Boy, The Mole, The Fox and The Horse. The funny story about this book is I got this one to give to Ben's mom for Christmas and she got it for me. I gave it to her, but I really wanted to read it myself, so I'm very happy that I have one to call my own. The drawings inside are absolutely beautiful and I, I just really adore this book. Swell by Captain Liz Clark. Every friend that I know that has read it, loves it. A Sailor's Voyage of Awakening. Anyone who likes anything to do with water, underwater, sailing, very easy read with some nice pictures as well. Warning, after reading this, you might want to go out and buy a boat, so be careful. Speaking of warning, reading it and going out and buy a boat, this is definitely not one that's going to want you to go and buy a boat. It's South by Shackleton. Ernst Shackleton, the world famous explorer, pioneer who went in search for the South Pole. There are many different books that tell the story of Ernst, Ernst Shackleton heading south into the South Pole. However, this one, South, is the one which is actually from his point of view. This one in particular here has lots of illustrations. Oh, spoiler alert. I really don't want to spoil the story, but there is one thing that you have to say. Men wanted for hazardous journey, small wages, bitter cold, long months of complete darkness, constant danger, safe return doubtful, honor and recognition in case of success. Would you go on that journey or not? These over here are more in the game section, you know, games that are for from three until forever. Puzzles, I love making puzzles. I find it very relaxing and quite addictive. Of course, this one is themed with sea life, ocean life, so I really, really love it, but I think puzzles are a great present no matter what. Don't get any for MP though, because she will not edit, not do anything that she's supposed to do until the puzzle is finished. But MP loves games, and we play lots of games all the time. One game that is good for two people and many people, which is very hard to get and also very compact, is Avocado Smash. It's about speed, reflexes and thinking. And it's literally just a deck of cards. Oh my God, I can't easy even think learn, about it. Easy to teach and we always laugh a lot when playing. And I think it's a good present for Christmas because you give it and you can start playing and I am sure this is gonna make you laugh during your Christmas. And it comes in an avocado, how cool is that? We have the last items of the list, they are for dog lovers and dog owners. We have two things that we really, really love. One of them is this snacks from Paul's Custom Food, Pet Food. It's healthy, one natural ingredient foods for dogs. So go and check out their website because I think your dogs would absolutely love all this. This is not an ad, we just really love this so much. We and don't, the dogs love it so much. <laughs> hey! When we walk the dogs at night, we put this in their collars. You can, well, this one changes colors and it blinks and everything. So we can see them in the dark and we think that, yeah, that is very cool. And we call them the... Uh, what? Vagalumis, which is... Fireflies. fireflies. <laughs> we let them loose off the lead and then they just go running up and down the beach. You just see some fireflies, that's why we call it that. We left the best gift of all for last. A dog! <laughs> a dog! If, if you, you really wanna go big and surprise your loved one, this is the best present, because this is the best 
thing in the whole world. Okay guys, this was very different to the usual. We really hope you enjoyed this. This is just a really something little from us to you, a little bit of what we had in our minds for so long and thought, why don't we just give all this knowledge to our favorite viewers? We really hope you enjoyed this list and that it made you a bit more inspired for your Christmas shopping this year. Don't forget that every single thing we mentioned and maybe more stuff will be in the link here in the description below so you can go and shop calmly having a look at everything we have a very big belief in whatever we bring to you guys is of good quality and that we use ourselves every single thing here has the yaba seal of approval happy shopping happy christmas yet or not yet is it too soon no we can already start happy christmas preparations happy christmas preparations the drill we use mainly for drilling holes in wood yeah we don't have any metal or anything. Okay. These are both the Dewash XR brushless collection. It's the Dewash. Dewash. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As we are normally a boat building channel, let's start with the first cordless impact driver and cordless drill that we bought for our build. The reason we have these is this one we use mainly for fastening, loosening nuts and lug screws, as well as screws. Let's <laughs> <laughs> Okay. 